Bite size, raffy and clean. The same awesome flavor in a smaller package. And always filler free. May contain peanut gallery. Hola, you amazing artist. It's time for another bite size video. Indeed. And today we have questions. I'm not knowing what the question is. So uh, uh, you just spring it on me. Okay. Spring it on me when you're ready. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Our question comes from Upward. Upward. Thank Up. Hello, Upward. Hello. They asked. If you're just starting, would you still recommend putting your art out there even if it's not that good? Okay, um, so my question for you is how do you know that it's not that good? And do you know that it's not that good because someone else told you that it's not that good? Or do you feel like it's not where you want it to be yet? This is, this is a a tricky question. Mm -hmm. The idea that something is not that good, um, it all depends on where that's coming from, where that source is coming from. Now, if you created something and it doesn't feel finished to you and it doesn't feel right, then I recommend you don't put it out there. If it feels finished to you and you're happy with it and someone else says, you know, that's not that good, then I would still put it out there and I would... Tell them to go fly a kite. Yeah, tell them to fly a kite. My answer is I started putting my work out there immediately and I knew that I would grow and evolve and get better but I still was putting my work out there because it was good for the skill level that I was at at the time. That's a hard question to answer because really what it comes down to is how do you feel about the work? If you're happy with the work being out there, if it is something that you want to share, um, the whole concept of good or bad artwork is such a load of crap. Mm -hmm. It really is. Like there is no there is no good or bad artwork. There is just subjective opinion about what, what is good or bad. Yeah, what you like and what you don't like. For example, I think peas are really good and my friend James would disagree. <laughs> food or anything else in exactly. life, whether it's artwork or anything else what in I life. What I mean is yeah. taste is relative. Listen, there is always room for improvement when it comes to working on a piece of art. Every single work of art that I create, I create that work, I look at it and I'm happy with it and it just feels finished to me. But it doesn't mean that there isn't something that I would improve upon next time. There is always something that you are going to be able to improve upon when it comes to your artwork. What does matter is, does the piece feel finished to you? And if it feels finished to you and you're excited about putting it out there, then definitely put it out there. Despite what anybody else says, put it out there because it's finished to you and you're proud of the work that you did. And like I said, it's tricky because if you're super insecure about your work, then you're going to want to wait until it's perfect. And there's no such thing as perfect. There is always room for improvement when it comes to your work. It just needs to be finished to you. It needs to feel finished. Yeah. Look, when I look back at my earliest pieces that I sold, I think, wow, I have evolved a lot. Yep. since then but I was proud of that work back then for what it was and I also wasn't afraid to tell people like that I was just getting started I would avoid the self-criticism of my stuff's not good enough because I don't have enough experience under my belt you're at different levels of practice that's basically what it is and when you are working on something and you are experimenting on something or you're trying a new medium your your pieces are gonna suck they're going to suck compared to somebody who's been working in that medium for 10, 20 years um, because you don't have the practice under your belt. You don't have the, the your own techniques down or your own tricks of how it is that you like to work with that stuff. Even then, when you're still developing your own voice and you're still figuring stuff out, if something looks finished to you and you're really, really proud of it, then put it out there. It can be a trap to tell yourself, I'm not ready, and that can perpetuate forever if you oh. allow it to. I mean, I could still tell myself I'm not ready, you know, because I'm not up to par if I compare myself against some other people in my field. 
But if you allow yourself to put your work out there, even if you're scared, even if you're new, and even if you're unsure, then you're facing multiple fears at the same time and growing from all different angles. Putting your work out there is not just about, oh, I wanna share my work and sell it because I wanna make money. Putting your work out there is about facing those fears of actually putting yourself out there dealing with criticism, dealing with self-criticism, dealing with all of those things. It's taking that step towards actually facing a lot of fears that you might have. One of the fears that you might have that's keeping you from putting your stuff out there is the idea that you're not getting it perfect, that it's not right yet, that it's not this, that it's not that. And honestly, you need to determine if that's what's holding you back from putting yourself out there or if you legitimately feel that like you don't, you're not ready yet. But, it, but really it all comes down to you. You can't ask anybody else if you're ready. You need to determine that for yourself. So hopefully that helps give you some direction on that question. Yep. And thank you for the question, Upward. Upward and onward. Yeah. Yeah, that was cheesy. cheesy. Yeah. And I would love to hear from you guys about putting your artwork out there and what it was like when you first put your artwork out there and if this was something that you were facing. Uh, because I know that it was something I was facing. I put off putting my stuff out there for a long time because I was afraid. Really, that's what it came down to. It didn't have anything to do with whether or not the art was good. It was just I was afraid. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios.